Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH-64D video, we'll talk about the altitude hold mode of the AH-64D. Using either the radar altimeter or their barometric altimeters, the altitude hold is a very useful function to automatically hold the hover altitude or keep the aircraft at a constant altitude in forward flight. To engage radar altitude hold, the ground speed must be less than 40 knots, the vertical velocity must be less than 100 feet per minute, and the altitude must be less than 1,428 feet AGL. It should be noted that the radar altitude hold is not a terrain following mode, since it provides the altitude directly below the helicopter and not in front of it. Altitude hold relies on the flight management computer, FMC, and is engaged by pressing right on the force trim hold switch. Once engaged, the FMC will automatically adjust collected pitch to maintain the altitude at the time the altitude hold was engaged. However, just like other axes within the SCAF system, it only has limited authority to do so. For this reason, before engaging altitude hold, ensure that you are first established in a trimmed state. Combined with attitude position hold, this allows a 3D hold for a hands-free hover. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's put ourselves into a nice little hover. So just like before, we're gonna start bringing back some collective, and then we'll using the cyclic and pedals to bring ourselves up to a nice stable hover. So bringing back the collective, stabilizing my position, and once I'm stabilized, I'll go forward on the trim hold switch on cyclic, set trim. Once I'm happy with that, then I went left to establish attitude position. I'm gonna continue uh, bringing the altitude up to about four or five feet. And right about there, now I'm gonna go left on the trim hold switch to enable altitude hold. You can see that indicated by the box around the chevron on the VVI or the vertical velocity indicator. Nice stable position now. Okay, to disengage both of these, we can go aft on the trim hold switch on the cyclic. Let's bump the nose forward to get some airspeed. And about six knots, we'll go to transition. And now we're gonna fly out to a nearby airfield and we'll approach at low altitude, a landing spot. And we'll establish a very low hover, basically like light on wheels at that spot. Establish altitude hold again, then disengage it in position uh, mode and then start bringing ourselves up in almost like a unmasking procedure. So while we're flying out to the airfield, let's talk about where we are and where we're going with the H64D. So let's first talk about some of the items we're currently working on now that we hope to have out in the near future. Uh, the first is called TSC or Target State Estimator. And when you have a good uh, ranging source, particularly the laser, this is gonna allow the gun a heck of a lot more accuracy uh, particularly from the CPG seat. And not only will it be accurate against static targets, it's gonna be super accurate uh, with gun, actually in rockets too, when tracking a moving target when you're using LMC or linear motion control. Uh, I think you're gonna find this uh, quite useful now. Uh, the second is we've been adapting or updating the Pilot uh, George AI. And that right now what's happening is it would uh, overcorrect the collective when set to a zero airspeed and getting himself into some settle with power issues. So we've been resolving that. And the other big one is we've been adding the uh, threat rings, which you'll see up on the uh, TSE display. Now, once those immediate items are done, uh, we have some additional items in high priority. And those include adding new voiceovers for your flight members, two, three, and four, uh, tuning the amount of yaw offset including the Image Auto Tracker, IAT. And this is gonna be a really helpful in that it'll allow the uh, TADS to essentially lock on to a target uh, rather than requiring you to manually slew to keep the TADS cursor over that target. Uh, we're gonna be adding uh, new uh, pilot models, both for the pilot and the CPG, including the first person view. And we really hope to add the option for an automatic anti-torque option for new players and those who don't you know, have a really good uh, rudder controller. And finally, of course, um, due to popular demand, we really want to add the ability to go into a multiplayer mission 
and be able to uh, select and directly fly from only the CPG seat without having to have a human in the back seat. And a little further out after that, of course, are going to be the fire control radar or the FCR, the radar guided hellfire, and the longbow net for the data link. Okay, so I'm approaching my new hover spot and I'm lifting the nose to slow down and I'm keeping a really close eye on my vertical velocity indicator. And I generally uh, try not to exceed uh, 500 feet per minute uh, to make sure I don't get into a settle with power uh, situation. So I continue to slow down. And once I get down to about uh, six knots, I'm gonna go into hover mode. And just like before, I'm going to be using the pedal in a cyclic to uh, stabilize and then go forward on the trim hold switch. Set my trim, continue to stabilize. Get right out there and we're gonna go left, set attitude position hold. Letting the system stabilize a little more and I'll go right on the switch to go to altitude hold. And again, you can see a zero altitude, so I'm super low, basically just very, very light on wheels. Okay, let's go ahead and go right again on the switch. I'm gonna to go to uh, disengage the altitude hold. And I'm gonna start feeding in some collective to start uh, bringing myself back up. But I wanna be careful not to feed uh, too much in too quickly to not saturate those controls. And I'll come up to about say 30 feet, almost as if I'm unmasking. Yeah, what are those strike eagles doing there? Okay, bringing the collector down a bit, going right again, and reestablishing altitude hold now. So at this point, I'm completely hands-free, both collective and cyclic, in a very nice, stable hover. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.